Calvary Chapel, French Valley. You know, isn't it a blessing to be in church? You have freedom to worship God right now the way that you need to. And that's in spirit and in truth. Amen? Amen. Let's pray. Father, what a blessing that it is to come and worship you, to acknowledge that you are on the throne. None of this is taking you by surprise, and we can rely upon the fact that you are creator God. Lord, I pray for this church that we would hear your voice and, do, and be obedient to the call that you have on us as a church and individually. Bless us to be a blessing this day. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Well, there's a number of things coming up at our church. First thing is, is that today after the service is the uh, Future Today Prophecy Meeting. And so if you hang out right after church, we'll get things set up. And we're going to talk about prophecy. And in case you're wondering... All you have to do is read the newspaper and you're watching Prophecy Fulfilled. So you're going to hear about some of that. Um, so stick around and uh, enjoy, you know, what uh, is enjoy the right word. Um, you know, uh, hear about what God is doing in fulfilling his purpose. Second thing is on um, next Saturday, Kevin's going to come up and share. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, my invite to you is pretty simple, and I'm going to give you a real quick little story about it. Next Saturday, our men's ministry is hosting an annual event uh, we've not been able to do since COVID, but we're going to get it started once again, is the, uh, the packing of the shoe boxes for Operation Christmas Child and that. Uh, it's an opportunity for us to invite the church as a community, as a family and that, to join in with the men in our ministry and that, to come together, to take gifts and toys and whatever we've assembled and pack them into as many boxes as we possibly can. Let me give you a, just a quick little story. I won't, I won't drag on. A few, year, few years ago, I had the opportunity through men's ministry in that for our men's ministry to take out a child from uh, a foster facility in that out for a dinner. And we were each given uh, a gift request from, from the children that were there. Mine was, uh, didn't know who my, my date was for the night, uh, but it was a, a red ball is what they asked for. Bought that, met them, took the, and I was blessed with this little two-year-old with a uh, Terrible palsy, stumbled into a room in a beautiful dress. Um, we got to the point of her opening the box. She opened that box up, and inside was a red ball, $1.99 at Walmart or wherever it was. Okay? She opened that box up and went, my ball, my ball, and closed the box up again. She opened and closed that box about three, four, maybe five times, sitting there, just saying, my ball. It was from that moment on that I swore that as part of men's ministry and that we would not go without the opportunity to make that event happen somewhere in this world through a simple stuffing of a toy into a shoebox and that, that somewhere around somebody might open up and find a gift that they never would anticipate getting and fill their heart for just a moment. Inside that box with the red ball and along with the uh, shoe boxes that we do will just be a simple little note, Jesus loves you. Some message from the gospel mm -hmm. and that Maybe a picture that one of your children or grandchildren who join us next Saturday can draw and put into the box that they might celebrate the gift they're given, but be reminded how much Jesus loves them as the, the boxes go out around the world. So next Saturday, nine o'clock here, we're doing it as a, a potluck event. If you can bring some gifts and toys and that type of thing, great. Um, join us, please. Uh, stuff a shoebox and let's uh, celebrate the opportunity to, to light up a, a child's heart. Okay. Thank you. You know, what Kevin just shared is the uh, acting out of what Pastor Rick is uh, teaching. Faith, we have to have, but there has to be works that go along with it. What a great opportunity to do that. Isn't that true? I could, I could springboard off of that and talk about all kinds of things in Indonesia about that. I'm not going to do that um, <laughs> at this point. So uh, the next thing is, is that next Sunday at 2 p.m., and you can see it up on uh, the video there, the monitor there, um, Dr. Halil Newman, who is the con consul general, he just left. 
there he is, um, to Israel, for Israel is coming to speak at the local synagogue down here, okay? It's on Marietta Hot Springs Road. He's going to be talking about, and you can see the list of those, uh, those things on there. He's going to be talking about the Abraham Accords. He's going to be talking about anti-Semitism. He's going to be talking about so many different things. And he is a significant uh, player, you know, for America here in this area. And so um, I would invite you to come. Space is limited. If you want to come, you need to go on and register, okay? Um, because uh, they only can handle a few uh, hundred people. And so um, this is going out to a number of places, but it's great opportunity. So come and be a part of that. Um, you'll, you'll really hear it from an Israeli's mouth. Yeah, I didn't say horse's mouth. I said Israeli's mouth. Okay, um, so come, but you have to sign up. So please go on um, uh, hrfv.org. You'll be able to see that, and you can do that. If you have problems with that, let me know so I can get you signed up. On Saturday, November the 27th, uh, a, a church and community outreach event is going on, and we talked about that. It's another way of being able to demonstrate who God is calling us to do by ministering to the local community. You can bring uh, all kinds of things here, the clothes, gently used clothes, jackets, shoes, accessories, toys, all of that. You can bring it and drop it off at the office, usually on Sunday. You can bring it next Saturday as well. Um, but what a great opportunity to minister to the community. And I say that to bring it and then for you to come as well so that you can be a part of that and giving things out and ministering to people. And I think what Kevin said is so important. Uh, the shoe boxes are great, you know, watching a kid uh, open one of those up that doesn't get anything for Christmas. Th those are, those are neat. They'll remember that. But you know, what's more important is to be able to say that Jesus loves you to them because they need to understand it's because of what the Lord has done in us and then through us. That's most important. That will change a life. We're, <clears throat> we're doing the same thing on November the 27th, okay? Then, uh, the uplifting prayer meeting uh, will be taking place on November the 28th. That is the weekend after um, Thanksgiving, so be prepared for that. Um, if you haven't been to one of the prayer meetings, you need to come, you know? Not only does God call us to pray, but he calls us to pray together, and that's so important in this day and time. If you don't understand that, come and talk to us because there are so many. Things. Stay after church and come to the Future Today Prophecy Meeting. You'll hear a lot about that. We are a praying church. You know, we need to pray for America. Um, so many things are going on. Um, our country is changing. And um, personally, uh, you know, I'm watching some things happen in the medical field that, quite honestly, are frightening. And so I would ask that, um, you know, you pray for America intensely, daily, more often than daily, multiple times, because prayer does change things, and God wants to hear from his people. And God desires that we collectively ask him to miraculously intervene, and that's what it's going to take. Pray for America, pray for the leaders, pray for Israel. In case you haven't um, been reading much that's going on in Israel, oh my goodness, there's a lot of things going on. And what leadership in Israel is very similar to what's happening in the United States. You know, um, it's a little bit, not a little bit, it's weakened. And so a lot of different things are beginning to take place that are pushing us towards uh, um, seeing a fulfillment of war and rumors of war. So uh, make sure that... Uh, you become a part of a prayer warrior. Pray for Israel. Pray for the United States. Pray for this church that what God calls us to do, we do. Obedience is so important. Let's pray. Father, we do just um, want to just acknowledge the fact that you're in control. I pray, Father, for our worship team that you would just bless them, that as they lead us into a spirit, Father, of worship and just honoring you, that it would convict our hearts to do as you would want us to do. Pray for Pastor Rick. 
that you would just allow the Holy Spirit to speak through him. Remove earth, Father, from him and allow the Holy Spirit to just talk, Father, to each of us that our hearts would be convicted. And as I look out of the audience, Father, I see some people that are going to be moving, some people, Father, that um, are struggling with jobs. And uh, Lord, I just pray that you would hear the desire of our heart to, to just minister to each other and to be blessed by you to be a blessing. Lord, we love you. We give you this day. We ask that your name alone, Father, would be glorified. In Jesus' name, amen.